So I'm Travis Mills, retired Staff Sergeant from the ASAC and Airborne Division. I'm 30 years old. I have a wife, Kelsey, of nine years, and my daughter, Chloe, who's five years old. And we have one uh, child on the way. We live in Maine now, where I run the Travis Mills Foundation as the president. And we are excited that we built a facility to bring in combat injured veterans and their families and show them how to do things adaptively and restore their confidence in themselves and let them know that life goes on, don't live life on the sidelines, and never let the injury impede or infect your life in a negative way. So we bring people out to Maine and show them a good time. Look natural, look natural, look natural, look natural. So we came to a short halt thinking the ground was safe. I sent my backpack down. When my bag hit the ground, underneath it was a roadside bomb or improvised explosives device. When it went off, it ripped off my right arm and my right leg completely. They just disintegrated. They didn't really find those pieces. When um, they took me into surgery, they went ahead and started to undress me. When they pulled off my pants, my left leg came with it. The left arm had necrotized, the skin had died, so they had to cut it off, so I became a quadruple amputee. And then when I'm eating, if I'm real hungry, I'll stab my piece of meat, usually I'm a meatitarian, that's what I do. I'll eat, I'll chew it real quick, and as I'm chewing, I'm stabbing another piece, so I better swallow that food, and I'm just, I eat like a Ferris wheel. I do think it's important that we can instill confidence in our veterans because whether they're from a big city or a small town, they probably don't have anybody around them that's like them. For me personally, I don't see a lot of amputees whatsoever, especially not quadruple amputees, but I'm very confident in myself and my abilities where we bring people in here and we give them a network to reach out to. We give them other families that have the same situation that, um, that they, they go through every day and let them know that here's some, you, uh, here's some tricks or adaptive sports or things you can do as a family to make you feel like you know you're still a part of everything and you can still keep going.